Hello, it's morning in Kansas this time, and I'm Laura Donnelly from Dancing with Ease Body Brain Balance, here with day 171 of Strange and Interesting Times. Uh, I have a family wedding to go to. I'm pretty excited to be able to do it, even though it's been adjusted and it's not exactly how everybody envisioned, but we're still going to gather as a family and celebrate. So that's a good thing. I came on early today because I have to travel and I don't know when I'll be back and when I'll be in back in internet range, which is always iffy in the rural part of Kansas. So I thought I would, I would come on today and just give you a couple of thoughts to think about and a peek inside my brain, how my brain works, because it is pretty, pretty fun, actually, it's pretty fun. It's not normal, but it's fun. So like I woke up thinking about being thoughtfully easy. And what does this mean? And then I thought, oh, thoughtful ease with a F-U-L-L, -L, like three words. So that your ease was full in your thoughts. And um, and so then I, then I start playing with the words because, uh, because I think it's fun to play with words and, um, so your thoughts could be full of ease. You could be thinking easily, which is really nice as opposed to thinking hard, you know, like the thinker. I, I realized a long time ago and then I couldn't do anything about it until I started to practice ease and pay attention to my thoughts is that, that when I was doing what I thought was good, uh, focused thinking, I was pulling my eyebrows together and I was making two hatchet marks up there. And I'm like, well, I'm gonna be a, a grumpy looking old lady if I don't figure out how to deal with that. So, um, so what I noticed is if I feel my eyebrows pulling together, I'm putting too much effort into whatever I'm thinking about. And, and then my mom, she studied Alexander Technique too, and we used to work with each other and we used to drive each other crazy because, you know, I said, well, how, how easy are you being right now? Don't tell me about that, you know? Just like, no, 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 But one of the things she used to say, which is really great, is just quit that. Just quit that. Just quit doing that. And I was like, if I could, I would, you know, because this is my mom, you know? But, uh, but doing the simple pause actually is quitting that. It's, it's stopping the direction that your thoughts are going. And so this is being thoughtful or mindful about your thinking. And um, this puts your, your ideas about ease into action in your everyday moment by moment life. Because, because this is another thing. So, well, I can't, I can't think about ease with this. This is too important. This is too hard. This is too serious. This is too, uh, athletic, you know, I, I need all my energy. I can't be easy. Well, okay, let's be thoughtful. What do you mean by ease? Perhaps a better word for you is in the zone. Three words, but that's okay. Uh, when I am at ease, which I is my little play on words, because I like to play on words, is Alexander Technique ease. When I am the, in that state of noticing what's going on and repeatedly returning to ease when I notice I have left and gotten into a space of excess tension and then I come back and then I get into it and I come back and I get into it and I come back. That is being at ease for me. Being in the middle of the Alexander Technique thinking, gently thinking, softly noticing without um, self-critical noticing. And this was a key, key piece for me is to shift my thinking so that when I went into tension and I was wrong, supposedly, I was right because I noticed it. There's something else before getting into this pace of tension, which is being able to, to Remember the difference between being at ease and being in tensing, and then celebrating that you notice. 
being overjoyed that you noticed and had a choice. And as my mom said, you could just quit that. So, so the thinking is easy. So my, my friend Imogen says uh, she has I am free too, which I think also came from uh, my friend Jennifer Rig Francoli, who is also an Alexander Technique teacher. And how Imogen uses this is I am free to whatever. I am free to notice the ground. I love that one. She does that one frequently. I am free. I like I am free to think easily because I can get all caught up in my thoughts and I can start to go faster and faster in my ideas and my thinking and I can uh, spin off a hundred ideas from one thought but I can I can think easily and so then I can choose easily which thought I want to pay attention to and this is all part of being at ease in the moment, having choice in the moment, and approaching the idea of having ease in your life thoughtfully, gently, so that when it goes away, and you notice that it went away, even if it's five days later and you got all caught up in some adventure in your life, and five days later you go, oh my Gosh, I didn't think about ease once those times. You say, oh, well, cool. That was interesting. That was an interesting experiment. Let me look back at what happened. Let me notice ease right now while I look backwards and see what I notice. See what comes up as important for me. Think about how I want to notice ease going forward. Gently, easily staying within a state of flow and uh, inquisitive openness to the world, to the adventures coming at you, to whatever you might notice. So those are my easy, thoughtful thoughts for today, or my thoughts about ease for today, or my easy thoughts about ease, you know, anything. And then it gets kind of funny and playful. So I would uh, love to hear, uh, hear or via message, any ideas you have about that and how, when it's hardest for you to stay aware of ease in your life, that's going to be a really key place that you can experience change, that you can experience improvement in your life, and that you can, if you like a good challenge, that you can have a good challenge because the, the places that it's hardest to notice are probably the places where you can make the largest change. In the beginning, dancing was the hardest place for me to notice. I think. I thought it was. Now, if I would do my easy, thoughtful thinking backwards, Perhaps I would notice a few different things this time from this perspective. But at the beginning of my training, I had so many dance habits that, that the minute I thought about walking into the studio, my whole body got into this old pattern. It's an old, it was an old pattern of what it perceived as ready to dance, which actually was a little bit too ready to dance, a little bit too excited, a little bit too much energy, which I had to contain, which made it kind of bound, which made my dancing kind of bound. And when I got more used to ease in my life and my dancing, I was still able to do all those steps that I had practiced so hard. But what happened is that my, my early young childhood joy of moving came back to me within any dance form that I was doing. And that was such a tremendous gift in my life. So I invite you to share your thoughts about ease, your thoughts about ease in your life, 
places where it's hardest for you to be easy here below or in a message have a great sunday i'm gonna have fun with my family and i'll see you guys tomorrow take good care